Hey everybody, Jimmy Wild here from J76 Gaming, back with another freelancer video. And today I wanted to go over multiplayer and getting a key generated if one did not get created when you'd finish the install. So if you followed my last video on how to install in Windows 10, you may or may not have been successful in getting an account ID created. Now, even today I've been able to reproduce it both ways sometimes it works and sometimes it didn't so in case it doesn't work I'm gonna show you how to get going in multiplayer anyway the problem that we want to solve today is when you click on multiplayer you go I want to go out on the internet and go play with all the cool kids you have a blank account ID and that is a solvable problem but not something that you can do just by typing in things. In order to solve this problem, we're gonna have to go online, surprisingly, and look for a little app called Freelancer Account Manager. So you can either Google Freelancer FAM or Freelancer Account Manager, or I'll put the link in the description below so you can go ahead and just click on it. Um, so what you wanna do is just go ahead and download now and it'll, it'll start or you can click on here to get it to go. Um, just pick where you want to save it. And I already saved it so I'm not going to do it again. But that will give you an EXE. Now you don't have to install anything, you can just go ahead and run it. But before I run it, I actually like to put it someplace that I'm not going to lose it. So I'll go into my freelancer folder and make an FAM uh, folder. And then go ahead and drag it into there. So this way, it's all in one place. You know where you installed Freelancer, so just keep it there. And the cool thing is if you do uninstall Freelancer, it doesn't delete this folder there, so you don't lose that information. But we'll go ahead and uh, run it and if it's the first time that you've run it, it'll ask you if you want to associate some files with it. You can say yes, because that's basically what they're all used for. Um, but the question here, do you want to add the current account? So in the scenario that I'm covering in this video is your multiplayer doesn't work. So you want to say no, because if you try to add the account, it's empty. There's no account ID to actually add. Now there is another scenario that I'm not going to cover and that's if you have multiple uh, people that are using say this computer, um, you can store multiple accounts in this, uh, in this application and then you can switch back and forth between them. But for our purposes right now, we're going to say no and so we have our, you know, it's a fairly simple GUI. There's only a couple things that we need to do in here. Uh, one, we want to go to the FL menu and we want to select the FL path. So we'll go down to where we have Freelancer installed. And actually, I'm going to pick the wrong folder so that I can show you what happens. Can't find the Freelancer executable file. Um, it's actually, it's not looking for where you have the EXE. It's looking for just the Freelancer folder. Um, and then it will find the executable. So we'll hit OK. And now in this case, a pop-up is bad. It says it can't find it. No pop-up means it works. So remember that. The second thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and go and generate a new account. We'll get this over here. Um, and then click Generate. And so these are our keys. These are actual registry keys that will be um, put into your registry. Um, this application saves you from having to go in and manually edit them, which is a good thing because you don't want to go messing with your registry. The next thing you can do is just go ahead and click save and it's going to ask you to add the account and give it a name. So we'll go ahead and give it a name and you can see the keys here, the keys are here and click add. So now we have our name and our registry keys. And then you can see that it created a file in here that has all your accounts in there if you were to do uh, multiples, but in our case, it's just the one. 
the last step that you need to do here is go ahead and right click and apply and that's going to actually set the keys in the registry so let's go ahead get these out of the way and should have done this first but we'll edit or exit and launch our freelancer again and we'll skip through the opening oops no i don't want to exit all right so let's click on multiplayer again this time yes go out on the internet and boom here we go we have a server select screen so you're not going to see anything here because i'm behind a firewall that's blocking access to freelancer servers but if there was a server available you would see it listed in here and you could just go ahead and click on it and and join that server and play so that's it short and sweet just a real quick video wanted to follow up my installation video with how to get going in multiplayer so i hope you liked it hope you learned something and if you get up and running let me know in the comments and if you didn't get up and running let me know in the comments too and we'll figure it out but thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe i greatly appreciate likes subscribes and comments and everything just interaction is really cool to talk to people and i will see you in the next video